Hey guys, Bowtie Daniels here, and welcome back to another episode here on the Wirecraft server. And in today's episode, I'm going to do a little bit of work here around the base. But first, let me show you some stuff that I've done off camera here. So I have added in these pillars right here. And I was gonna take uh, take this down and do it on camera and show you, but these things were actually quite a pain to build to get the lava to specifically flow like this. I uh, did it completely by accident. Um, I'm very happy with how it turned out though. I think it looks good. Uh, I was gonna play around with a couple different designs and try and get this, but this just ended up looking the best. I tried doing something a little bit smaller and, and not so huge. But yeah, this is what I've uh, done off camera here. So uh, this is part of the design I'm going to do for lighting. Um, I started marking out some blocks of where lighting ends and begins. I did that off camera as well. And I also went around and I did the uh, the trim for the bottom here. I just put in uh, stone steps and a couple of slabs here and there to uh, take care of that, even that out. And oh yeah, I got rid of the beacon that was over here. It was, it was right here. There, you never knew. You did not see that. So yeah, I had the beacon over here and I got rid of that because I didn't like how cluttered this uh, space was starting to look. And there we go. Here. Sorry, I did not like using die right there, but I just needed a block to kind of mark the center of this area. So this is the very center space, and I'm going to be doing something over here um, at a later time, or maybe I'll even start taking care of it on this episode. I don't know yet. So, yes, yeah, so what I'm going to be doing in today's episode, uh, what I want to at least start off with doing and working with the base is taking care of the floors to make this spawn proof. Now, I do not want torches everywhere. These torches are kind of ugly, and I want to do something a little bit different. I want to make the floor more interesting. I want to break up all the grayness that I got going on here. Let's get rid of all these torches. I think this one back here. Yes, I did. And I want to make sure that this is also spawn proof while keeping things uh, interesting here. Tonight. So I, I like this design that's going on here uh, or with the light level. So I think what I want to do is replace, uh, I'm not going to fight with, is replace these um, blocks here that are all underneath the eight light level with something a little bit more interesting and something a little more non-spawnable. Okay, and so my plan to do the floor is to replace it all with black uh, stained glass. I think that's gonna look interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and, you know what, I also gotta get rid of this nether portal. So that's, that's not with the work. My good, we got rid of that. So I'm going to go ahead, take care of this nether portal, and start laying down some of the glass and just seeing how that looks. And if I like what it's doing, which I really, 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 really hope I do, uh, I have another plan for what I want to do. Maybe it'll get started in this episode. I might save it for another episode, because it is going to take several hours of work. So yeah, let's go ahead and take care of that. All right, so there we have it. We got our floor design figured out. Well, at least part of the floor design figured out for this. Um, I have a couple other plans for things that I want to do here, but this is looking pretty good so far. I mean, ignore the stone and gravel, andesite, dirt, all that ugly stuff underneath, because um, I am going to be removing all of that and I guess you get a little bit better idea of, of what it would look like with just this area. What I want to do is dig all of this down. So I am at Y level 68. Whoops, don't need that. So I have quite a few layers to go ahead and dig down. I want to dig that down probably all the way down to, to bedrock. Oh boy, that that's going to be quite a bit of effort. So yeah, dig all that down, and then you're going to be walking over this, and it's just going to be darkness, blackness going all the way down. Probably have some lava at the bottom, and I'll have to build some cliffs going up, and then things like that, and I'll continue this support beam probably going all the way down, um, and underneath this thing, now that I have these four spouts coming out, 
it'll go down underneath the glass all the way down to bedrock as four lava pillars over here. And I think I'm going to do that all the way around for at least this room. I haven't figured out what I'll do in the other areas yet. I think I'll let... Maybe a... Sorry, I thought I heard a creeper. Um, might be a little bit easier in those areas. I already got, you know, this, um, coming in here for, for, for this lava on the other side of this wall. Uh, yeah, for how I'm going to handle that. Uh, so yeah, this is what it's looking like so far. I'm, I'm happy with how this is looking. I think it's going to look really cool once I get all this, uh, taken care of and dig down. But I'm not ready to do that right now. That's going to be quite a bit more work than I want to do, and that's going to be kind of a boring episode. So instead, um, I think it's time to make these walls look a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to be doing that by adding in some variation with the block. So taking bricks for mossy cobble or cracked bricks, um, and then doing a little bit more detail work on this stuff too. So. Let me go ahead and get prepared for that, and I'll uh, catch up with you in just a second. All right, welcome back. I got my supplies ready, and I started testing out some things a little bit. Um, I want to smooth out some of these. Oh, careful lava! I want to smooth out these edges just a little bit. So I don't know if I want to use the cobblestone walls or some iron bars. Uh, from close up, the iron bars look pretty nice. But uh, if you go from a distance, I think the cobblestone walls look a little bit better. I'm not sure which one I like. I'm just going to leave those two there for now. Uh, but instead, I want to focus on these um, curves and layers and the, the, the ceilings up here. So get started on that. I actually need some scaffolding blocks. So grab a couple things of I think that will be okay. And let's see. Let's go into my chest. Oh, I've also went ahead and added in another two beacons. So now I have, if I show you strength, um, which I just threw on there because if I'm doing anything and a mob comes by, I can just beat it up a little bit better. I, I didn't really care to get strength. I just need to do something so I can get regeneration. Um, I also put on some resistance and I still got haste going on. So the regeneration and the resistance is good in case I accidentally go into the lava, uh, which is starting to become a little bit of a danger around here. So that's something I'll address in the future. Uh, let's see. So I want to some detailing here. So let's get this, and this out of the way and all stones. Stairs. I am definitely going to need more stairs. Let's get some cobble stairs too. And we'll start off with that. Do I have more? Yeah. Okay. So that will work. Let me grab some more stairs because I'm definitely going to need more of those. Uh, I'm running a little bit low on my stair supply and my bricks. That's okay. Um. Make some quick, and I got tons and tons of stone over there, so I'm not too worried about it there. So let's make some more uh, stairs, and that'll be good to get started. So I think mostly what I'm going to do is for at least this layer here, I'll stick with using uh, stairs, and then going up here is where I might start doing some things with slabs. Uh, get those into the mix as well, and I want to do kind of more of an arch over here as well, so that might get some slabs in there as well. Uh, so let me go ahead and get started on that, play around with a couple of those designs, and I'll catch up with you once I have something good that I like. Alright, so there we go, we got the, uh, the two long sides done and taken care of here, so that's kind of the detailing that I went for here to kind of make it more of like an arch coming up. Same thing on this side there. The design itself did not take that long to come up with, but replicating it, oh boy, that took a really long time. Um, tricky to uh, kind of count everything out and make sure I did everything right and didn't mess anything up, and I've had to uh, fix quite a few things. And these torches I just would place down to help me kind of count and keep track of things from the other side to make sure things were... Uh, we're lining up all right, but I got these two sides taken care of now, so that is good. I'm happy with that. Now, the next part that's going to be probably a little challenging to figure out 
um, are these corner transitions. I started a little bit on that side and I think it looks okay, but uh, it's going to need a little bit more work. And this arch, it's a smaller area, so I'm hoping it doesn't take as long, but it's going to be harder to go back and forth and make sure I'm doing things right because I got these pillars in the way of my line of sight. So that's going to be a lot of fun uh, to figure that out and take care of that. So let me go ahead and start messing around and try and figure out what I'm going to do for, uh, for those two sides. All right, so here we are. We got our end sides done now, and I did the uh, corner transitions as well. Did a lot of half slabs over here and some stairs and uh, such over here with these arches. It looks okay from up here, but I really like how it looks from down here. Um, actually, ah, lava, 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 lava. Really got to be careful of that, but see, this is why I added in those extra beacons to help me out, because I'm not losing any damage or any... So yeah, I, you get a little bit of a better view, I think, from uh, from this side. But I really like how these arches look from down here. I think they might even look better than these uh, main areas over here and here. So I got all the corners done. I got the four uh, doorways and arches done. The last thing that I need to do is the rest of the ceiling. I got a detail like this area and that there over here and all the way around. So that's the next thing I got to do. I got to get some more dirt. Create some more scaffolding up there and uh, start figuring that out. I'm not sure what my plan for that is going to be quite yet. Um, I'm definitely going to have to play around with that and see what works best for that up there. So let's get to work. All right, so there we go. It's a little bit hard to see through all these dirt blocks, but I got the roof taken care of here. At least I hope so. I think I got all the spots. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one or two that I may have missed, but I think I got everything, and if I did miss it, it doesn't seem like it's probably noticeable from down here. So let me go ahead uh, and get rid of all this dirt so we can really see how good this all looks now. All right, guys, check it out. This is the grand reveal for the detailing that I did on the ceiling and the walls and the transitions and the curves and the arches and everything, and it looks really cool. I'm actually really happy with how this side came out. Um... These sides look look pretty good too, but I, I think this area just came out so much better. Like when I when I originally planned this, I thought this was going to be the really cool area, um, and that was going to look the best. But I think these end parts might be even better than the sides. So I'm really happy with how this turned out and the detailing um, here has really added a lot of extra interest uh, to the build and to the ceiling and the walls and everything. Now one of the things I do need to see about fixing are these little light holes right there. Uh, there's glitches sometimes where light can slip through the slabs and stairs. So those are some stairs and slabs right there where light is getting through. And it's happening over here too, but it's not nearly as bad. Um, but that that really is pretty, pretty terrible. So I got to fix that. Um, that's not too hard. Just got to put some blocks behind it so no light is uh, leaking there. And yeah, that that's looking pretty good.
there we have it. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse I did there of uh, me going ahead and doing all this detailing and block variation here on the lower part of the walls. Uh, that's going to be pretty much it for, for that section of the wall. I do need to start working my way up and get a little bit higher. Um, maybe I should have left that dirt scaffolding up there, but I, I think it's really good to be able to see the whole build like this unobstructed without anything getting in the way. So, yeah, maybe it was better that I got rid of the uh, the uh, uh, dirt scaffolding. So, yeah, I need to go ahead, add variation in up on the top, a little bit on the ceiling, the walls. That's going to be interesting doing and taking care of. I think maybe I'll just go on the other side of things. Let me see, just enter pearl up here. And nope, let me try that over here. Yep, there we go. So I might... Oh, cool. Just, you know, hanging out, standing on the wall. I'm like Spider-Man right now. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Does whatever. Don't want to get sued by Marvel. Um, yeah, so I can go ahead and kind of break some of these blocks from the outside and from above, and that will hopefully make it a little bit easier to do this detailing from the ceiling. Otherwise, I got to put scaffolding everywhere, um, and that'll take up more time. So we'll see if I can be lazy and do it that way. Uh, but yeah, that's going to take care of block variation, and then there are some places I want to add some detail in, and kind of like this section over here, and these arches, and so forth. So I'm going to play around with that. I'm not going to take care of any of that in this episode. I think we've done enough for today. I'm really happy with how this place is looking. I think it's looking pretty good, and if you agree that this is looking good, please... Not my back, my front, there we go. Please leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you think, uh, if you have any other ideas of things that I can do to make this look better, um, or if you think I've made some terrible decisions and I should rethink everything that I've done in my life. Nah, 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 hopefully nothing that negative. But yeah, so leave a like, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, guys, this is Bowtie. Peace out. <laughs>